Walking calm as ever. Better stop filming actually up here, but what a beautiful afternoon. It's like seven o'clock at night. Not a breath of wind on an August evening. Beautiful. Right. This is what I'm doing tonight. That, the skylight, that bit I'm putting in. So, <clears throat> I have to forgive because I haven't got much camera angle stuff at the moment. So, yeah, let's try that. Um, all I'm going to do tonight is uh, fall off here and break my neck. <clears throat> I should say things like that. Right, all I'm going to do is uh, drill the holes tonight, then cut the square away because tomorrow it's given a really hot day. So underneath I'll go around with no nails and put the wooden battens on and clamp them around and they can go off all night then. So in the morning they'll be rock solid. I'll go around and paint the metal, you know, to protect it and uh, paint the battens and everything. Then uh, <clears throat> tomorrow all I've got to do then is layer the putty and get it all right and ready for fitting um, the skylight which I've painstakingly cleaned um, and it's come up really well. I use Silic Bang and stuff like that. So anyway, I'll crack on. Cut a big hole.
hole is there. The hole is there. Hey. Right above where you do the dishes, the sink. So, yeah. Well, I thought it helped towards obviously not getting all steamed up and that. And that. Now I've got to do the battens now, but that's it. Okay, now I've cut that hole. Apart from the tidy up job, here is where I want to put the battens. So one button I'll screw into there, like so. And the other two, oh, sorry, the other three I'll glue in. So uh, the smaller button that I've got will screw to there, like so. And then the other buttons I'll put in with no nails. This is the uh, pink grab again, really good stuff. And then all I'm doing with these buttons then is giving him a place for the skylight then to fit to. Same as I did the windows, once I've stuck it on, I just slide it across the metal a little bit. And it actually clings under its own thing there, but obviously. There we go. The light's starting to fade now. It's been a beautiful sunset out there again. So wish I was kayaking, but I feel that when the weather's good and you've got jobs like this to do you've got to get them done because although it's August we can have bad weather <coughs> right I've left this to go off through the night so what I'm doing now is just treating the uh, the bare metal The last thing you want is for that to get rust just inside there. There you go. It's just to nip that into place because it's a bit awkward to get to. Battens across here because then I've got the kitchen and uh, bathroom ceiling done in a one and a half. So. I've got the sun in my face, which is character building. So that's the other button in now. Notice I'm using gaffer because it gives you that extra hand, you can just hold stuff. Now the problem we had here was the roof was actually bent where somebody stood on it. So, um, when I put all that in and cut it and noticed it was dropping a bit there, I purposely put this button just here because it forces that up now and it's giving it that bit of shape back again. And it's better than it was anyway. So, um, I only need one more button really, uh, across here in the end, and then that's it. Three buttons, three buttons should do it really. There you go, nice and secure, lovely. That's secure, that pushes that up nice. Right. I bought this stuff, which is you know, like your plastic 
Look at that. That goes in. Lovely. Shame about that though. But I can live with it. I can live with it. And that holds in nice there. Look. There we are. Look at that. Starting to give it a more professional finish now. I've only put the one screw in because I wanted to see what it looked like first. But I'm happy with it already. So, and what I'm doing is the screws I'm putting in, I'm putting the little white caps on them as well so that they can be wiped. I did want smaller ones but they didn't have any. But I won't hold screw fix to that. So what I've done is pushed it in so it fits in nice. And then lined it up in the centre. It's all a bit fingers and thumbs, but. And I've been very careful tightening it up because you don't want to pinch it. And there you go. That looks lovely. That really does look lovely. That sets it off. Okay, I've got to the bit where the skylight is now, so mark it out. I've taped it into position there as well so it doesn't move. Make sure that's pushed up nice. You could have told me I forgot to put insulation on. <coughs> Some audience you are. Right. We're getting close. We're getting very close. It didn't take long actually to undo and uh, refit anyway. Right. I'll get all this fitted and then uh, we'll start preparing the uh, loft flat. I've got some wiring here as well, 12 volt system. Um, that fed that through, that'll come down, just hang there and I'll use that for the lighting for here because I'll put, I'm thinking of putting some nice strip lights along there so that it, it lights up the uh, sink and cooking area at night time. <coughs> On, fixed. Attached, all the fittings done, wiring down there. All I'm doing now, prior to layering the putty, is this, it's uh, a cleaner, a very good cleaner. Gets rid of any grease. Well, as you can see, all I'm doing now is just Put that across, a little score with the scissors. Uh -huh. Then peel that off. And all I've done when I've cut it is each bit's got bigger and bigger, you know, so it comes up and fills that well.
hatches in there and I'm just tidying up this putty here. Let that go off. 